Hello and welcome to livingspinal.com. I'm Andrew and I'm going to be walking you through some of the seated segues that are available in the market. The unit that we're going to talk about is going to be the going. Uh, the going is made by Handytech and is manufactured in Italy. Here is the product page. So um, for latest pricing, you'll want to go to livingspinal.com in case any pricing has changed. But uh, at this time, it is $14,998. And that is with the original preset of options that are chosen. So depending on your options, it'll change the price. This price is including a segue and the going kit. So that's something to be very aware of that in the seated segue industry, we're talking about a segue, which is the power drive wheels underneath and a kit that goes on top. Let's go ahead and just look at our option sets. To get started, we have colors. Okay, so we can go to this going plus colors and then we've got red and blue, which is what you see right there in the picture. And then they've got carbon fiber. Let's go ahead and find the carbon fiber one. All right, so that's our carbon fiber, which is kind of a gray, almost black bottom base where these panels are carbon fiber all the way around printouts. Really cool looking. And you can get the backrest in a carbon fiber backrest, which the black tubing, carbon fiber, it's probably one of our most popular designs. A lot of people, they don't necessarily want the chair to be super flashy so that people are looking at them and not the chair. And then we've got flowers as another design that you can choose. And the last one is denim jeans. There's kind of cool characters within the denim jean look here. And then the fabric there is a seat cushion with more of a denim feel to it. So I'm going to go ahead and click out of there and we're going to go back to the tubing package. So that would be the metal tubing that are the armrest, the backrest post, the steering arm post, that all of those metal tubing pieces are your tubing package. And you've got white, orange, blue, and green. And then we'll go ahead and scroll down and we've got our backrest and that comes in an ADI uh, medium backrest, an ADI large backrest, an ADI quad backrest, which what that means is um, for the quadriplegics in the market, me, myself, I'm actually a quadriplegic and everybody's different. You know, every level of injury, every different disorder or whatever ails you, right? That's why we call it living spinal. There's so many different ways that the spinal cord might ail people. And, and so if you have bad balance and your core is a little bit weak, you may be very interested in a quad backrest because it will have some lateral support built right into the backrest. So the sides of the backrest will have a, a little bit of support there, um, which is a really great thing to have. And then it also is a quad backrest multicolor. So we've covered backrest. Next thing we've got here is landing gear. Um, this is a really unique feature of the going by Handytech is that you can choose whether you want the landing gear lever arm to be on the left or the right side of the unit. A stroke can be very one-sided. Same thing with spinal cord injuries. Sometimes they can be incredibly one-sided where someone's grip in their hand is really weak on one side. And so if that is uh, your situation with the going, you can actually choose which side you actuate the landing gear with, uh, which is gonna be incredibly important. That's how you're gonna get on and off of the unit. On each side, there are a armrest that you could hold on to, uh, more of a place for you to hold on with your hand. That doubles as the actuator for the landing gear. And when I say landing gear, I'm talking about this leg um, in the back here, and then there's another one in the front. So if we go to one of these pictures of the front view, um, you'll see that there's another leg here that goes down. When you squeeze this handle right here, you, you will pull up on the arm and it will deploy the landing gear, which will steady the unit and allow it so that it cannot tip over and you can shut the unit off. And then you can safely get on or get off of the unit. 
another feature that's really specific to the going, and I don't think there's even any other units in the industry that do this, steering arm in front here, it actually is removable. A lot of the units have your removable ones, but with the going, when you go and sit on the unit and you have the steering arm on there, it locks the unit. Once you bring the landing gear up and you are sitting on the unit, the steering arm is locked. And that is a huge thing because how much of a bummer is it gonna be if you're cruising along and you go and lift up on the steering arm and it comes out of the socket, which is mounted down below and would be a little bit difficult to get back in while you're riding could be dangerous with this one it's got a built-in safety feature so that if you're riding it's locked in general the going is one of the nicest segues in the industry for its design and the quality of its construction the company handy tech that manufactures it also manufactures lifts for cars in italy so they definitely have the machinery and know-how to do quality construction of metal machinery. The next thing that we're going to talk about, and this is also a very unique feature, is that in the front here, there's a 12-volt charging station. All of your cell phones can get charged while you're riding. Uh, you could set up GPS and it can be powered through the unit. The next thing, and this is crazy, so they have decided that go ahead and send me a picture of anything. So let's say that I just love Hello Kitty. I pick out a beautiful high resolution picture of Hello Kitty and we can send it um, with the order. And these panels for the under piece are actually going to get custom made into a pattern of Hello Kitty. So if something you just love, you love sailing, you love motocross, you love Hello Kitty, you can get that on your going which is really unique. The backrest is folding and has a locking pin for the folding mechanism. The unit together can also go on the X2 Segway or the I2 Segway. So you may ask me, you know, what's the difference between an I2 Segway and an X2 Segway? Well, the I2 has more of a street tire on it, um, similar to what you see here in the picture, and it sits about 25 inches wide altogether. Whereas the X2 tires are more of a low pressure, uh, off-road kind of dune buggy tire, which makes the overall width 33 inches. 33 inches can be difficult for indoor use and getting it in and out of doorways. Most doorways are you know, 25, 28, 32 inches. Your big commercial doors will be 36 and you could get through those. From the beginning, and I've got a lot of hours and a lot of time on seated segways, and I've always been shocked at how much even the I2 tires can do, the more street tires. If you just wanna go on trails, grass paths, dirt, gravel, anything like that is absolutely no problem for I2 tires. Where your X2 tires are really going to dominate and be kind of mandatory is thick, fluffy sand. So if your desire is to go on the beach again, you'll want an X2. If your desire is to go and do pretty extreme off-roading or get into loose materials in the woods or, or maybe wet materials, so riverbeds or different things like that, you're gonna want an X2 and that's gonna be such an incredible vehicle for you. The handlebars on each side, they actually have LED lights built into it. So the unit has a switch on it and it has headlights to keep you illuminated at night, which is really nice, you know, cause you'll be cruising along and you don't see a, a curb or something like that. You don't wanna be just running into stuff at night. So being able to put a little light onto the situation is, Quite nice. I think that's just about everything um, that I can think of on the going by Handy Tech, only available at livingspinal.com. Well, that'll do it, folks. Thanks so much for being a part of this video, and you have a great day.